Next. What do you think about this idea of anonymity, of publishing something anonymously? Would you ever consider publishing a paper? Like you've uh, you've been part of, I mean, the Cardano in, um, ecosystem has published a lot of incredible papers. Is there ever a value to publish anonymously? Well, every paper that goes through the referee process, uh, the authors are ripped off. So you don't actually see the authorship when you submit to the conference. Um, so that's just best practice. Um, but the question is, do you preserve the anonymity post-conference and actually um, not reveal the author of the paper? It's a detriment for the deals we make because the whole premise of working with our company as an academic is that you're gonna have amazing co-authors and your work is gonna appear in great conferences, great journals, and as a consequence, you get tenure. Mm -hmm. If you publish anonymously, you know, it's it's like being like a doing clearance work in high energy physics or something like that. It's like after 30 years of this amazing career working on nuclear weapons and classified reactors, you know, you finish and then you go to apply for a job and they're like, so what have you done for the last 30 years? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it on your CV? Well, I can't really talk about it. Yeah. Okay, welcome to community college. Yeah. You know, so you get you get really screwed if you do that. So the, there's a misalignment of incentives in the academic world towards anonymity. Um, and generally it's only done when you're doing something very controversial or there's a whistleblowing type of a component. It's not typically done for foundational work. And Satoshi was really one of the first things because like if there was a, Satoshi doxed himself, and I don't think it's possible anymore, but if he or she did that, uh, that's like a Nobel Prize in economics, likely. You know, there's, there's a, you're on the short list for that. And there's enormous accolades that would come beyond the monetary incentives of being able to dox yourself. But uh, yeah, that'd be cool if they give a Nobel Prize in economics to an anonymous, to Satoshi Nakamoto. It's been proposed and it was turned that's down. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 there are a few people in our company that have done pseudonymous publications. Like the, if you look at the Chimeric Ledger's paper, that's a, it's not a real name. It's a crazy name. It's a pseudonymous publication. Uh, and, you know, but that's usually for throwaway work. There is one project we inherited from an anonymous person, which is fascinating. It's called QAditas. And it's basically a, an extension of the QED manifesto from the 90s. And the pseudonym is Bill White. And I think it's some anonymous mathematician, but I can't figure out which one it is. But basically, it's a marketplace for deduction. So it's like a, it's, a, it's like a, this magic machine where you can create incentives for people to write mathematical proofs in a theorem prover and make some money from it. So there's uh, there's some cool work that's there. And it's sad that Bill stayed anonymous because I think that could have been easily published and there was a lot of really cool things that could have been done with QAditas.